Hey, what up? It's Tap In here. Welcome to the first take of 2024. We're excited to have you guys. Come on, let's go. Welcome back to tap to tap to tap tap, tap in. in. You already know it's your boy Fifth Up Sound here, and I'm chilling with the crew. We back, y'all. Back, we back. This Yo, is your yeah. humble host JD. What's going on? What's going on? It's a girl, Big M, not, not the little, little one. one. And of course, this is your girl Evie. Still Evie. Nothing Still changed. Evie. <laughs> the only thing is, she's she's on IG now, y'all. Like, <laughs> Evie's moving on to bigger and better things. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. So today we have a pack episode, man. Um, I think this one is gonna be really good. Um, you know, like every, you know, the the saying that people have, uh, "New Year, New Me," type thing. I don't know how you guys feel about that. New Year, New Me. How you guys feel about that? New Year, same me. Mm. Same old stuff. Huh? That's it. What do you think? I think I'll say I used to think New Year, New Me. Yeah. I used to flow with it because like give you that energy, that confidence that you're gonna do new things. Mm -hmm. Until you get into the years, it's like the same thing over and over okay. again. So I think for me, I'll say new opportunities. New opportunities. I feel like people lie to themselves when they be like New Year, New Me. Like mm -hmm. once January first start, I'm not gonna listen to rap music. I'm gonna be all in my Bible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the gym. Right. Then we put all these plans together, and we actually don't do nothing because mm -hmm. we don't actually put the work in. We just think we gonna change because the new year changed. It's not like we also some realistic goals. Same. Right. Let me tell you, mine is uh, I actually do have a new year resolution. Oh, you oh, do. Oh, you yeah. Do? It's always been the same one every year. You want to get tired. <laughs> Not to have one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Stars at night. But no, my new year resolution is always to not have one. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, it's as Big M said. Yeah. They'll go, yeah, I'm gonna read my Bible. No more rap music. Catch me two weeks later. Mm-hmm. You see me rolling. Back hey. hey. <laughs> And never, man, listen, I stopped doing that, bro. That's Stop. true. That's true. Like, when I was younger, I, I, I did. I, I did the new year, new me thing. Yeah. And what I realized is, like, it takes time to change, right? And, and people, you know, tend to want to change you know, in an instant. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work like that. So one thing I like to do during the year, in the middle of the year, actually, like mm -hmm. right towards the end of the year, I start having my reflections. So I did that in November of 2023, yeah. right? So um, I, I want to know, like, like looking back in 2023, would you guys say that it was a great year? Um, did you guys achieve, you know, what you set out to do in 2023? Ladies, oh. you know, I must be trying to go first. Oh, it's really go ahead, awesome. Evie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very honest. I'll say 2023 was a rough year. Mm -hmm. Very rough one. Yeah. It started, even before 2023 started, 2022 kind of gave me like, this is how it's going to be. So, you know, December mm. was not going to be great. A lot of things happened. Then 2023, I was like, okay, you know what? It's the new year. Let me just start something new. Let me make sure, you know, I keep doing this. But then just, I don't know, life just leading you left and right. Mm -hmm. Don't even know where. So it was really, it was really rough mentally, physically, emotionally. We can get into it, but I'm like, you know, you guys go and right, right. talk about that. No, that's great. That's great. I mean, you started. You might as well just get into it. Right. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, you might as well go to the details. Yeah, that's kind of hard thing to rock. Go ahead. Well, let me, let me just go back in the timeline. So I'll say, like, February, March, and April, it was, like, my first time really dealing with depression. Mm. And I know that, that was, like, a lot of a lot of youth, a lot of people was dealing with societal thoughts and all, a lot of things was happening. You know, I didn't, it didn't hit me until I was put in a situation where it's like, oh wait, I don't know who's real. I don't know who's going to be here for me. I don't know what I'm doing in life. I, mean, that's, I think the devil does that a lot. When you start thinking one thing, because the mind is very powerful. Yeah. One thing, you just take the, the next one and after yeah. I goes to like, okay, I don't think I'm 
doing anything in life. I don't think I'm that good. I don't think I'm that smart. I thought I was, but I don't think I am. So you know, I was dealing with depression, and I didn't know how mental health was like, how big it was. You know, you know, the Caribbean. And Haiti, you don't have that. He's just like, yeah. you don't pay bills, you don't pay nothing. What are you worrying about? Mm-hmm. And I feel like that was my me being an adult and trying to make me realize like I was very like in that adult in life mm-hmm. of doing things by myself. And then after that, you know, I was like, okay, let me get better, let me be better, let me be with God, let me read my Bible, stay at God's feet, you know. And then it goes from okay to some little break. Then I went to after depression, then I went to, that's when you went to that loss, you know, losing people, when I had people dying left and right, mm-hmm. family dealing with different problems, friends leaving you, that said they don't want to be part of your life, and you're like, wait, I thought you were good, yes, but I need a break, I don't want you to be anymore, you know what I mean? So everything was going really bad. Then failing classes, it was, it was a lot. It, it was a lot in 2023. I'm not going to say what the best year. But one thing I'll say for sure, I think one of the things I like about 2023, it made me grow stronger with God. I was okay. closer with God. Yes, my faith. Because I fear God more. Because I'm like, oh, I don't want to do things that God don't want me to do. I don't want to stay without. I want to stay within God's will. So it kind of helped me grow my faith in God. That's one thing I'll say I really love about 2020. That was it. That, wow. That's pretty awesome, man. Wow. Like, I, I, I heard the struggles, right? But then, you know, I, I'm a strong believer that we go through things to make us stronger. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, the Bible says, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will, I will feel no evil. And people have this misconception that, you know, because we are Christians, that we're not supposed to suffer. Mm-hmm. You know, because we are Christians, we don't go through, you know, like things in life, like depression and suicidal, you know, ideations. Um, but it's our faith that keep us strong. Mm-hmm. You know, we still have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. God never said that you're not gonna walk through it. Right. You still have to walk through it, but he promised that he's gonna be with us, you know, no matter what. And faith is what's gonna get us uh, over the other side. Man, that's really deep. Um, Big M. What's up? You know no slide. Come on, man. First what you got? All, 2023, let's see. 2023, I actually tapped in. You like that word, tap in? Mm. You like tap, 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 tap in. in. 2023, I tapped into my woman here. Because, mm. you know. Get out of here. What, 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 the, what does that I look like? I'm going to prepare myself to be somebody's wife. Hey. <laughs> hey. That's what I'm saying. So, I was like, Lord God, heaven. I told myself, 2023, I'm going to grow up. Mm. That's why I was oh. like, 2023, you need to grow up. I mean, to me, I was not immature. I was just hot headed. Mm. Like, on site, yeah, on site. So, 2023. You're already in play. On site. So, I was like, you know what, 2023, I need to leave that behind and tap into, like, you know, my womanhood. And I can say, I'm actually proud of myself. Sometimes I used to doubt myself, like, mm mm mm. But I started a little from the way I dressed, I changed the way I dressed. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. So would you say you had more self awareness? Yes. The soft girl era. In 2023, I've noticed that. Let me see. I'm a fighter, not like fighter. Like things I thought I couldn't. You, you overcome. do that too. <laughs> things I thought I couldn't overcome, I, I actually did it. Like Love back to what Evie was saying about um depression. Mm-hmm. Prior to 2023, oof, nobody knew, but I, depression hit me bad. And I've noticed that it's coming from, I was one foot in and one foot out in the church. Mm-hmm. Sundays I'll be in church, hallelujah. I didn't say that, I don't want to say clubbing, but Bob. I didn't, yeah, I used to be clubbing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't used to like rap music, that's not me. But when it comes to the compa, the the bodies and stuff, that mm-hmm. was me. I ain't, I didn't miss an event. And I've noticed when I used to do things like that, I didn't read my Bible, I didn't do nothing. When I've noticed I've the things like that, the devil used to come in my ear. Like when I say, just kill yourself. Mm-hmm. I remember one night I was having a dream. It's like I seen death walking all over me, walking all over me, walking all over me. And I was in my room. It had to be like three in the morning. 
I, when I closed my eyes, something was like, listen, stop closing your eyes. If you close your eyes, you're not going to wake up. You're not going to wake up. You're not going to wake up. So I just held my pillow real tight and I screamed, Jesus! And everybody, <laughs> <laughs> everybody came running in my room like, what happened? What happened? And I, I literally couldn't say nothing. I was just like shaking, 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 shaking. I was shaking. I was shaking. I was literally scared of my own room. I didn't go to my room for like weeks. If I needed clothes, I went shopping. Because I felt like the spirit of death was in my room. Wow. Well that, well, that was because, you know, once again, when I realized it, I was one foot in, one foot out. Then I was like, you know what, 2023? Besides tapping in from my womanhood, I'm going to take God serious. I'm going to start reading the Bible seriously. And once I did that, listen, depression who? Who? Suicidal who? Who? Right. Who? It's suicidal. Speaking about suicide and depression, it's, it's tough. But we have to do it. Yeah. Um, Man, wow. That's, that, that's that, that's that's tough to follow. Talk about a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah, I need to smile. Sometimes when I tell people, they be like, "What? I would never think you go to that because you like to laugh. You like to make people laugh." I be like, "Yeah." It's, I used to fake my smile. Fake it. When I say fake, fake it. Fake it till you make it. I think we all. I think nowadays that's what. Especially us young people, that's what we do, we fake it. We don't want people to know, we don't want to talk. We don't feel like we're comfortable enough. We don't have a, a safe place to talk to people about what's going on. So now we start to fake it. And then it's just, we're dealing with it by ourselves in a room. And that's where it's like, that's where all the problems come. That's when that you start doubting yourself. We don't have nobody that be like, okay, you know what, Evie? You got this, like, you're strong. Go ahead, do it, just by yourself. You, I'm in the the way I would say the mind very powerful. Is when you start thinking negative, there's no way you're gonna go and be like, okay, I'm gonna be positive. You're just like, okay, I know, I know I'm not this person. I know I'm not that good, and you just accept reality. But you don't have people to be like, you no, know, push you and say, go, keep going, keep trying. So I think a lot. I feel like we do have the people, but we don't notice we have the people. Like I used to be like, okay, I ain't, I ain't got nobody. Hmm. I used to always see it. Why so one day it? I was in church and I really was this close about to take my life. Remember Samuel? I text Samuel and I text my godmama. That's when I feel like, okay, Marjorie, you do have people in your corner. We're just afraid to like open up. Open up to them. I, I think that's what it is. And sometimes you, yeah, you, you're right. Like you're afraid to open up. And with me, it's different, right? Because um, obviously like, you know, I've taken uh, my walk with Christ seriously, like, you know, for many years ago. And, you know, my life had turned, you know, like literally a 360. Um, so like I said, every year I do not do, I don't do a uh, new year resolution, uh, but I do uh, um, improvements. I do believe in improvement. I believe that you can always be a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so I do self evaluations, mm -hmm, yeah. right? Every year. Uh, last year, what I noticed was um, I don't mind uh, giving people advice. I, I, I really don't, right? And I think that's uh, actually a gift that God gave me. Mm -hmm. And I, I've learned to embrace it, embrace it, right? Because um, sometimes, like, you, you really don't want to hear what other people are going through because you are going through it yourself, mm -hmm. right? And what I came to realize last year is that I need to start opening more about the things that I'm going through personally. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. So um, uh, towards the end of 2023, uh, um, I experienced uh, uh, the loss of a friend, mm -hmm. right? Um, I was still trying to process it, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't know how. Um, I tried talking to someone, you know, and the person said, you know, Sam, you got this. Bro, I, that, that pissed me off. That pissed me off because, you know, people look at you and said, you are strong enough. And, you know, like, it's not okay not to be okay. And I had to, you know, go in a corner, sit and talk to myself and like, I'm not okay. Mm. And, 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 and it's okay for me not to be okay. And I think I was seeking what, what I believe that, you know, when somebody comes to me for, mm -hmm. you know, that comfort, you know, that reinsurance, you know, and no matter how strong your faith is, man, we all go through things. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter how, you know, strong your relationship is with God, 
we all suffer loss and we deal with it differently. So at that time, I didn't, I didn't want to hear somebody to tell me, no, yes. bro, you got this. Yes. No, like, like, what is that supposed to mean? I got this. Yeah. You know, if I had it, I wouldn't come in and start a conversation with you. I wouldn't, you know, try to reach out to you. But I come to realize when you are a strong-minded person mm -hmm. and when you are somebody that, you know, um, is there for people, you know, uh, a lot of the times people are not there for you, mm -hmm. you know, and that that's what 2023 reminded me. Um, yeah. And like I said, there are certain things that I want to change. So one of the things that, you know, I evaluate myself with is to target the things that are negative mm -hmm. in my character. Yeah. Right. So sometimes we focus on, you know, all the positive things, you know, we want to be great. You know, we great in front of everybody, mm -hmm. you know, we want to in everybody's eyes. We want to be viewed as this perfect person. Mm -hmm. And it's not true. Right. The, the best way for us to be the best version of ourselves is to know our flaws. Mm -hmm. Right. Not just know your flaws, but acknowledge that, you know, it is there and you have to change it. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? So. Um, November of 2023, I started tapping into that, you know, um, what are my flaws, you know, and recognizing, you know, the bad habits that I have and trying to, um, well, with prayer and, and, and meditation, ask God to redirect, you know, uh, those negative uh, characters so that way I can be the best version of myself uh, for uh, 2024. Um, yeah, man. Wow. So, that, but host, uh, it's you not slip. You know it's tough, know. man. Yeah, it's, like, okay. it's tough. It's tough to have it those is. conversations, you know, because we we're putting part of yourself out there. No, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. So for last year, right? I'll say this because because it, it kind of goes back from uh, we got to jump back to twenty twenty one. Oh shoot! Right. So. That's when, you know, mom, uh, she passed away. Yeah. Mom passed away. Right. So I actually, I think I slipped into like, I actually realized what it means to slip into depression. Because I, I didn't know before, like, what that means. Like, because like, like, I was like, wow, people do that, whatever, right? But I actually experienced it. But then, of course, it's not the moms not through my own you know, strength, whatever. I kind of try to get myself out of it. Um, but if I, I could tell you that, so from that, jump into like 23, right? As of last year, it's gonna sound crazy, but I feel like I've been bad all my life. Like, all my <laughs> life, <laughs> right? Like, you just, like, I'm someone that I never, ever say, yeah. I've made it. Yeah, I'm good. I don't. I don't need no fine tuning. I always focused on, bro. You suck. You need to do better. Even when I am doing well, right? So, to hop on what you said, man, just self evaluation, right? And I try to focus on um, what's been hard for me is to maintain, mm. right? Um, you mean consistency, man. Yeah. Maintaining consistency is not the easiest thing for me, right? Um, and I say not easy because I want to get to a point where it's just like drinking water, um, drinking water, or breathing the air, right? You still, you know, you find yourself slipping into um, habits that you know, like the way you speak, the way you think, right? So like for me, like I could, I could say that I'm someone that, well, I was someone that, um, don't take me very much to get, you know, but, yeah. so, but you know, I've, 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 I've tried to like, to get better at that because especially like, you know, being, you know, being married, you know, you're dealing with somebody else, right? Um, and you have to understand and take account to you know for what they're saying what they believe right versus just your own even though sometimes you know you, like yeah like you may know what you're saying is probably correct but you gotta 
hear them out right it's it's i would say like for me honestly like also as a 23 i would say it's maintaining right Try, trying to stay consistent as much as i can because i've i've noticed that when i don't do that right it's when all the things that i've done before to get where i'm at today this very second this very nanosecond it kind of just it was all for nothing so which is why i said my new like my new year resolution is not to have one just continue just go into the new year as if we're just flipping the page you know? so but i but i would say for sure man like uh, just, just going back to like 21 when, when my mom passed away yeah that that is um, um sometimes i still think that i'm like why should i should be gone man? and it's not like me trying to put on put on a break because i promise you it's not it's just that, and I, and I think I said it when I spoke um, during her funeral. Um, as you're a kid, you have one or both parents that that kind of like molded you until what they want you to be. But that was the biggest issue yeah, ever, like the biggest crybaby ever. I used to be, and you know, she molded me you know, to to get that. So you know, again, at times you know, it still feel unreal, right? So this very second now, it feels unreal like she's actually gone. But I can't hold on to it though, because that's what that's, that's what you know she taught me, you know, through the word of God. So you know, just gotta just let it go like a lot. Yeah, man, like <clears throat> tough, tough. It no, tough. It, it it is, and you know, the the thing about death, right? And like, don't get me wrong, just just understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing about death is that it allows us to reflect on our own lives. Yeah, for sure. Man. Like you never go on a funeral and you in, you in your, 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 your mind, you yeah. in your thoughts, mm -hmm. right? Thinking about, you know, what am I doing wrong? What can I change? You know, how can I move better? Mm -hmm. That's what funeral does for us. Mm -hmm. It allows us to put life into perspective and to, to, you know, acknowledge the beauty of life. And I think sometimes we don't appreciate the life that we have. Yeah. You know, especially reflecting and, and and looking at other people. I don't own a lot of things, but by the grace of God, I have peace. Very you important. Know? Oh and, and it's the most important thing I, I would say in somebody's life is to have peace. I'm not saying you don't have problems. Problems will come, mm -hmm. right? But to find the calm within the storm, yeah. bro, that speaks volume, man. And, um, you know, looking at life in a different perspective, a different, you know, uh, point of view, you know, when you have that peace and it's the, it's the peace that only comes from God. Yes. You know, speaking of peace, I remember um, our Thanksgiving video. Yeah. And I was like, what are you thankful for? And I always said, I'm thankful for God, peace, grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how important when, when Jesus said, I'm going to leave you with peace. I did not know how important it was until yeah. 2023. Mm -hmm. And I can, I mean, JD, I know the feeling of losing somebody. I remember 2020, mm -hmm. I lost my uncle. Since then, it was like, I haven't been the same since then. Since 2020, everything changed. Yeah. Yes, I'm yeah. happy. Yes, I'm talking, but it's not the same. Mm -hmm. And there's time when you go to like, oh my God, this person's not here. It's like, it puts you in a box. You trap. You're like, my, you are in this box. You cannot get out. Mm -hmm. and nobody can help you because nobody knows what you're dealing with. So I know, I know that when everything comes 2023, like I was experiencing all of them together, like a once for some reason, I did not have peace. I lost peace. And if so, I'll say it out there for anybody out there. If somebody comes to you and said, I don't have peace, I'll say, wait, wait. It's very huge. Because you, the way, the way life is without peace, it's like, I'll wake up, I'll wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. and it will go right back to, you not good. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? You always asking questions. So many things going in your mind. You're just like, wait, what is going on? Like, I just want to sleep. I just want to be. I don't want to hear nothing bad. I just want to wake up to the point where it's like, I love going out with my friends. I love going out to eat, even if I don't eat. But I love going out. I could not go out with them. I could not eat. I couldn't do anything. So I was like, I'm like, I had to pray. I had to pray, and I'm like, I'm asking God. I need peace. I need peace because I'm like, what is going on? This is not 
how things you know this is not how things supposed to be yes there is problem but then every day you go to the same problem it's like it's just like you go to sleep you wake up for the same day it's the same yeah. thing over and over again so true. it's the same time like you're spending your whole day there's no positivity in your life there's nothing you're not saying anything positive so i went through that so i know when somebody said what are you grateful for i said i'm grateful for god peace and i mean it what made it better when it comes to my mom's death is that I, uh, and anybody can go on YouTube because it was obviously like you know on YouTube. The last thing I said was, "This is not a loss. This is a gain." You know what I mean, so because I knew who she was, you know, I knew what she stood for, and she's def she was definitely not a perfect human being, but she was to me a perfect mom. I mean, so I was like, "Yeah, this is not a loss." You know, this is a game because this is our rite of passage to heaven. Yeah, only in Christ Jesus, though. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. Yo, man. Um. Yeah, I think I'm depressed now. <laughs> I'm not depressed. <laughs> like, yo. Um. But this is what this was needed. You know, there's people out there that are suffering in silence. And why would I? What I I would say to you is, there's help out there. There are hotlines that you can hit up um for depression you know there's always someone that's willing to uh to speak to you um uh, we'll post you know the the number on this video um if you are somebody that's suffering with depression suicidal thoughts um please man like the life is beautiful there, there is light at the end of the tunnel um uh if you are not a christian uh trust god for sure Tr trust God. Like if you have not tried Him, try right. God. Right. Um, many many characters in the Bible uh, suffered through depression. Yeah. They they did, but but what kept them is their faith in God. Right. Um, so I'm a strong believer that God is able to get us through whatever you know situation that we are going through. So I would advise you to to please trust God.